Hello and welcome to the first episode of Physics for Scientists and Engineers with Sir R Squared. In this video, we're going to discuss about Introduction to Physics. We're going to define some terms. We're going to discuss about the branches of physics, the roadmap to the study of physics, basic measurements and units of measurements, scientific notations, conversions, and dimensional analysis. We are referencing physics for scientists and engineers with modern physics by Survey and Jewett. First up, we go to definition of terms. What is science? Science is a systematized or organized body of knowledge based on observation, experimentation, and study. It comes from the Latin word scientia, meaning knowledge or knowing. There are three main branches of science. Biological science, physical science, and social science. Biological science deals with the study of living things, both plants and animals. Example, biology, botany, zoology, ornithology. Social science is the study of human behavior and societies. Example, history, economics, political science. Physical science deals with the study of non-living things, their composition, nature, characteristics, the changes they have undergone, and the factors affecting these changes. Here are the branches of physical science. Chemistry, the study of matter, its composition, properties, structure, and the changes it undergoes. Astronomy, study of the universe and the heavenly bodies. Geology, deals with the composition of earth materials, earth structure, and earth processes. Meteorology, study of the atmosphere and how processes in the atmosphere determines the Earth's weather and climate. Physics, the branch of science that deals with the study of matter and energy and their interaction to each other. So what is physics? Ano? Minsan naguguluhan tayo, sometimes nakukumpuse tayo kung ito bang pinag-aaralan natin ay physics or chemistry or biology kasi somewhat related po ang physics sa kanilang lahat ano ang sabi po dito if it is living it is biology if it is chemicals it is chemistry what is chemistry chemistry is the study of chemical composition of matter and what is physics is study of matter and its interaction so matter then kaya lang dito sa physics physical properties of matter ang pinag-uusapan natin ano yung mga katulad ng motion yan mga kinematics pinag-aaral natin sa physics sa chemistry ang pinag-aaral natin is the microscopic uh, chemical composition of matter if it is rocks it is geology sabi rito so physics is everything else and can be applied to biology chemistry and geology, so forth and so on. Physics is the study of just about everything. The main areas of physics. Physics can be broken down into seven main categories, namely mechanics, motion and its causes, thermodynamics, the study of heat and temperature, vibration and waves, specific types of repetitive motion, optics, the study of lights, electromagnetism, electricity, magnetism, and light, relativity, the study of particles moving at any speed relative to an observer, 
quantum mechanics, behavior of particles like protons, neutrons, electrons, and even smaller things. Yan po yung mga main areas ng physics. Dito po sa physics, meron tayong tinatawag na scientific method. In case we forgot, nandito po yung ating tinatawag na flowchart kung paano po yung ating uh, scientific method. Siyempre, unang-una po, mag-i-evolve po yan sa question. Paano po ba tayo nag evolve sa question? Una, may observation and data collection. That leads to that question, that thing that you want to know. Pagkatapos, magkakaroon po tayo ng... Uh, wise guess or yung tinatawag natin ng hypothesis na na-formulate and objectively tested using experiments. Pagkatapos magkakaroon po tayo ng experiments, observation, tapos uh, i-interpret po natin yung result and revise the hypothesis if necessary. At pagkatapos po ng lahat ng experimentation and results ay magkakaroon po tayo ng conclusion in a form that others can evaluate. Yan po yung ating uh, flowchart ng scientific method. Yung evolution po ng physics or yung history ng physics ay ilalagay ko na lamang po sa video number 2 dahil uh, masyado po nga haba itong ating video number 1 kung pati dito, dito pa rin po natin siya isasama. Ilalagay ko na lamang po sa end screen na pagkatapos itong mapanood magkakaroon po ng end screen uh, leading to that uh, video sa evolution ng physics. Napaka-importante pong malaman natin itong evolution ng physics para malaman natin kung saan nagmula, ano ang pinagdaanan, ano ang nakaraan, ano, ano ang kasalukuyan at ano pa ang hinaharap ng ating siyensya. No? So, Panuorin po natin ito sa part 2 ng video sa Introduction of Physics. And for our final word for this video, If God brings you to it, He will bring you through it. With this, I have to terminate our discussion for this part 1 of the Introduction to Physics at ibalik po natin ang lahat ng parangal at papuri sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan sa lahat. To God! Be the glory.